Hey there, I'm Meg, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you what happens when somebody shares a design with you on Canva. Now, make sure that you have a Canva account associated with the email address that they shared the design to. And if you don't have a Canva account, I've linked to a tutorial down below on how to create one. Okay, so if somebody shared a design with you on Canva, they most likely shared it in a way that you received an email notification. So how that works is you pop on over to the email and it would look something like this and then you'll click on it and this is the design that was shared and you're going to click the purple open in Canva button and here we are. So that's all great. However, once you X out of this window, how do you find that design again? So what you do, let's say that you've X out of that window and you're coming back into Canva. So you're gonna open canva.com and then you'll notice that it does not show up under all of your designs. That's because you didn't create the file, somebody else did. So what you're gonna do is head on down to shared with you and there it is. And whenever you and the person who shared the design with you makes a change, it's going to update on both of your, both of your files. So this is different if somebody added you to a team. So we will cover that in another video because teams are a little bit more intense. And this also works differently than if somebody shared a template with you. So templates are like, for example, I have a Canva brand guide template. They're meant to be shared with a bunch of people who you don't even know. So that way they can customize the template to suit their needs. So in that case, you don't want everybody who has access to the template updating the same file because then nobody's going to end up with exactly what they need. It's constantly going to be updated. So let's say somebody shared a template with you. What's going to happen is they will send you a link. And in this case, I did a template using this link. So you just go to the link and then you'll be brought to a window that looks like this and you'll click on use template. So whatever you do to this template is only going to change the design on your end. The original file that was created by the person who designed the template will not be affected. So if this template is shared with thousands of people, you each have your own version of that file, which is pretty awesome. So what I recommend doing with everything is always renaming it to a file that you can refer back to easily. You can find access easily. So what happens if you were to X out of this window? Well, you would just head back to canva.com. And because this is a template, it's going to end up in your designs. So you'll see the file down here. And then if you go to all your designs, you'll also see it again there. So just to summarize, when someone shares a Canva template with you, it goes to all your designs. And when they just share a design with you, it goes down to shared with you. And whatever you do to this file under shared with you also affects the file of the person who shared it with you. And if you are part of a team on Canva and you have no idea what that means, stay tuned. I will be posting a tutorial next week all about that. So I will see you there.